Hi, this will be a quick little show and tell on how to style and all during the style of a lace front wig. For this, Eva Hair was kind enough to send me one of their lace front wigs. It's the Chestnut Wavy Bob Synthetic Lace Front Wig. Besides the wig, the package also comes with a wig cap. It's 14 to 16 inches long in the front and 10 inches in the back. The wig is made out of a heat resistant fiber, so you can style it with a flat iron. The density is 150% and it has three combs attached to the inside, so it holds on tightly to your head. That's it without any styling and I'm on for some examples on what you can do with it. Brush the wig before styling it. You will notice that in many movies and games characters have kind of wet looking hair and recreating this is really easy. Use any hair oil that you have, mine is a burdock oil. Put some in your hands and with your fingers brush through the hair. Start with the top layers and only work with small strands of hair. You don't have to cover all hair in oil, the top and middle layers will be enough to do the trick. The hair texture gets a little more defined and the oil gives a natural looking shine to the wig which doesn't look plasticky. First straighten the wig. Some hairstyles allow you to alter the hair length and make it look a little shorter. For that the wig needs to have layers with different lengths. If all hair have the same length, this won't work too well. In this case the hair in the front is longer than the hair in the back. Take the front part and secure it with bobby pins in the back of the wig so it's not noticeable. Making a fringe without cutting the hair is easy too. Take a strand from the back and put it underneath the top layers on the front to cover it. The tail of the strand will be the fringe. Then secure it with hairspray.
Making a ponytail is easier when you brush the hair to the back first. The hair is too short to make a bun, so lift it up and fix it with bobby pins to the back. Flatten the hair in the back with hairspray. So these were just a few ideas on what you can do. I hope this was helpful and if you have any more questions please go ahead and ask. I hope you have a good day and thank you Eva here. Bye!